So Rockstar just removed a huge amount of vehicles from the game. I'm going to be running a list of all those vehicles down the side of the screen just so you can see what has been removed. And I'm just going to talk a little bit about how this changes the game. So before, like, Rockstar was trying to incentivize people by offering discounts on vehicles each week to try to get people to kind of log in, you know? get these vehicles at a discount so what this essentially does is now create what's called artificial scarcity by removing content from the game to kind of encourage people to log in each week to you know, find and see if that content is there so you know, if you don't buy it this week you might never get it again so they're going to be scattering these vehicles across a few different areas um, randomly i would imagine each week in los santos the first of which is the Vinewood Motor Club, which you can find here on Elsian Island, which is essentially a club for GTA Plus members where you will get a new array of vehicles added each week, one of which you'll get for free. The rest, I think you can just call and drive around whenever you want while they are active, and you'll have the option to purchase them at a slight discount. And there's also going to be a mixture, I think, of ones that have been removed from the game as well as ones that are still available in the game. So for example, the Devastate here is still in the game that you can purchase, whereas the motorbike here is has been removed. So again, this is really just to encourage people to come back. So instead of giving the discounts, it's going to be FOMO, so fear of missing out. So, you know, you'll have to log in and check out all the spaces to see what is available each week. So the Los Santos Underground Meet is obviously going to be a place where you'll find three of the cars coming back, as well as the one that you can lock. Over at the casino, you'll be able to unlock the prize ride. You'll also be able to go to Simeon to get a few of the cars that will be brought back. And you will also be able to get two uh, luxury autos. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of removing content that was already in the game. Uh, th they said it was to make it more streamlined, but the truth is they could have easily have just, you know, made the UI on that website a lot better. It is a cumbersome website to use in the game. Very dated, so they could have just fixed that or separated out the cars onto different websites. I mean, at the moment, you're essentially going to have to run around each week to see if the vehicle you want is there or not, and it might never come back. To me, that is not easier, and it is insulting that they would even try to say that this is for our benefit. It's obviously just to rotate stock and give the illusion of content being added kind of like on a weekly basis as opposed to once to twice a year. And there's of course going to be that sour aftertaste that they are going to be locking some of these vehicles behind the GTA Plus paywall because some of them may only come back to the, to the Vinewood Motor Club and if you want the privilege of purchasing that, you're going to have to subscribe to GTA Plus. Uh, look, that's how it is at the moment. Let me know in the comments what you think of this. Love hearing from you guys. All right, people. Catch you again.